Hey loves, and welcome back to my channel. It's Dr. Jack of All Trades, and this is Vlogmas 2020. While you're here, subscribe, leave me a comment, like, and share. Good morning, everybody. It's Vlogmas Day 7. Woohoo! I've actually been vlogging for seven days. I am so proud of myself because, like I told you before, I've had this channel for 10 years and have not published or a video until this week, Vlogmas uh, 2020. And so I am so proud of myself. How are you all doing today? Oh my goodness, it is gonna be a busy day for me. I got some work to do, got clients to see. I've got a lot to do, it's the end of the semester and I'm so thankful, classes are done, woo, woo, woo. I've posted all of my grades, don't call me. You got what you got. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had some great students this semester. I teach graduate students, aspiring um, uh, professionals who are pursuing doctorates and master's degrees. So yeah, that's what I do. And I am um, gonna give me a little coffee or tea or something. It's Christmas time, yay, I love Christmas. I what, may sit by my window. I would go out on my patio. It is so cold though. So someone had asked me about the straws, the stainless steel straws that I use. And it's these straws that I got from amazon.com. And um, I don't remember how much they cost, but I'll put a link and everything where um, to the straws that I got. But you get um, 10 straws, varying sizes. So you get two big, uh, smoothie straws like this and then you get four uh, curved straws and these are the this is the one that I had with my my water you get four curved straws like this and then you get four uh, just regular straws four regular straws and you also get two um, little scrubbers that you can scrub and clean your straws with. So yeah, that, those are the straws. It's eight in a pack, no, 10 in a pack, and two scrubbers. And it comes with this little pouch for easy keeping. So those are the straws. The best part of waking up is community coffee in your cup. So guys, I made me a lovely um, low-cal ca uh, coffee drink. Um, I used just my regular community coffee, um, some uh, my low gl glycemic sweetener, and some sugar-free whip and sugar-free caramel on top. And of course, I topped it off with my pumpkin spice. I love my pumpkin, pumpkin spice. And I put it in my festive cup because it's the most wonderful time of the year. And it looks so yummy. It's kind of melting. The cream is melting a little bit, but hey, it's gonna get my day started off just fine. So um, what are y'all gonna do today? I'm gonna get to work and I'll pop back in a little bit later. Um, it's Vlogmas day seven, y'all. Happy holidays. And there I am working, girl. Get it, get it, girl. I'm just preparing for my session that's gonna happen a little later on. You know, I work hard now so I can play hard later. Hi guys, um, just did a little bit of a makeup look. Did my hair, cause I'm getting ready to meet with a client via Zoom. So, you know, I wanna look like I am, um, you know, put together. So if you're interested in how I got this look, stay tuned. I did a little tutorial, kind of, sort of, first one. Let me know how I did. 
So I'm starting with my brows. I'm just gonna carve them out, shape them up with Kevin O'Quan's Skin Enhancing Foundation in SX12. And then I fill in the end of my brows with Maybelline's Ultra Slim Brow in Deep Brown. I'm putting on my serums and my creams that I showed you in my other video. And so now what I'm gonna do is use my Shiseido eye cream. It is the Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream. I like to use this um, before I go in with my makeup. Um, I also, in that previous clip, I used the um, Touch and Souls Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. So now I'm going in with my um, foundation. And the foundation I'm using today is Fenty Beauties. Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation, and I'm in the shade 410. But I want to go back to my primer that I used, I didn't tell you about um, before I put on my eye cream. I used the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin, skin Balm, and it's a really nice moisturizing skin balm. It's, it's amazing. It makes the makeup, the foundation application so smooth, and it really helps it blend in. And girls, I will tell you what type of brush I'm using, but I simply do not know. <laughs> it's from uh, Morphe. I know it's a Morphe brush. It's just a Morphe um, kind of fluffy uh, foundation brush. And so what I'm, do I'm doing now is just going in, kind of blending it in, making sure it's all blended. And it looks all uh, good. Getting me a sip of my protein shake. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my under eye concealer. And I am using the Smashbox um, Under Eye Concealer. This is the Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer. And I am in the color Medium Dark Warm. And so I put that under my eyes. I put it in my T-zone in the area of my face that is naturally lighter. You know, when you put your foundation on, everything becomes one shade and um, in real life I'm not one shade I'm actually lighter in this area so I go in with my concealer to put that lightness um, back in there because you know what if God intended for my face to look kind of light in that area I want to make sure I, I keep it that way so I put a little bit of I put my con uh, concealer back um, on there to lighten that area up and that's uh, the Smashbox 24-hour uh, concealer. I think I got that from either Smashbox or Sephora, but you can get it from any makeup store. In, in all of these products, you can get it from pretty much any makeup store. Okay, so now what I'm using, I'm gonna set that under eye concealer with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder, and I'm in the shade Honey. And I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques um, makeup sponge and just put that on. I am um, gonna put it in every place that I had the um, the concealer. I am not going to bake because I found that that just really dries out my under eyes. So what I do is I just go ahead and um, brush that uh, in with a fluffy makeup brush. I uh, brush away the excess and then I, and, um, just kind of kind of brush that in, smooth that in. And yep. And so moving right along. I am going to get another sip of my protein shake. And next, <clears throat> I'm going to go in with my um, eyeshadows um, that I'm going to use. Uh, as a transition color, I'm going to use Max Powder Blush. Yes, this is a blush that I'm using as a transition color on my eyes. You know, you can use your makeup any way you want to use it. And so the color I'm using is Raisin. It is a matte blush. And it's an OG favorite. I've been using this color for years. And I really do mean years. But it's a great uh, natural um, color. It's great for uh, transitioning. And so I'm taking a big fluffy brush and kind of blending out the edges. Um, so that it won't be uh, any harsh lines or harsh demarcation there. And then I'm going to go in with my Dream Street palette from uh, ColourPop. And I'm going to um, use the color uh, 
shooting star on my lid. It's a kind of a light peachy color. It's in the same family as that raisin color that I'm using as my transition. So I'm gonna go in and use that on the lid. This is a very simple look. I'm only gonna use um, just um, uh, three colors, I think, on my eyes. Just three, uh, nothing major, it's nothing. Not a whole lot of blending. And that color there is Sweet Dreams. I'm gonna put that right on my brow bone right up there and blend that in and just um, put that on really really uh, quickly um, take another fluffy a clean fluffy brush and kind of blend it out so that everything looks all neat and clean and then I'm going to uh, go in with raisin underneath my um, I, my waterline on my bottom lid and I like to do this it kind of just gives the eyes a really pretty, um, pretty look I like that I'm going to take my fluffy brush and blend that out as well just like I did on the top so that's what's going on I hope you guys are um, enjoying this if you like it I'll do more <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to line um, my uh, top lid just a little bit. I don't go all the way across the, line, uh, the top border, the top lid. I only go like um, a quarter of the way or two quarters of the way across. And I'm using the NYX Professional Makeup um, Eyeliner in Black. And then on the bottom lid, I'm going to use Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. This is the Perversion Pencil. And a little bit sap. I was trying to get a little closer so that you guys could see what's going on. I saw I needed to blend a little bit more under there. I didn't, you know, so yeah, get that. So now I'm going to go in with a little setting powder and kind of set everything that I've done so far. And I'm using Makeup Forever's Pro Finish um, Powder, setting powder in the shade 171. So I just kind of go all over my face, just, you know, making sure everything's blended and looking nice, all of that. And honey, this protein shake is the bomb, as you can tell. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with my bronzer, which um, is the Fenty Beauty um, bronzer in Coco Naughty, which I love, I love, I love. I love all of three of these products, all of the Fenty products, pretty much. I hadn't found one that I don't like. So, um, yeah, I'm loving that. So I'm just putting that bronzer in the hollows of my cheek, around my forehead, and in places where you don't put the bronzer. Then I'm going in with the, a smaller brush and using that same bronzer to kind of shake my nose a little bit. Um, I don't do a whole lot with that because hey, my nose, it, it's the size that it is. It's, there's not enough bronzer in the world to make it smaller. But anyway, that's what I'm using. And the name of the bronzer is Sunstalker. And it's um, Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer and Coco Naughty. So now I'm going in with my blush. And this is another OG favorite from MAC. And it is in the color format. It is a um, frost. has a little bit of a shimmer in it. And as you can see, it's not too uh, like pow pow in your face type bronzer. It's really a nice natural kind of peach color colored bronzer. I love it. And now I'm going in with highlighter from Black Radiance. And it's the Artisan Color Baked Bronzer. And the color is Ginger Snap. I love that. So yeah, um, we're uh, in the home stretch, guys. Now this is the part that I wanted to really show you about it's the no brow look I mean no lash look I don't want to wear lashes so anyway I start off with um, using the wet n wild lash o matic lengthening and voluming mascara fiber extension kit and what I'm putting on now is the prime and seal in the color black which is step one now I'm on to step two which is the lengthening fibers and you put those on um, each, each uh, eye and then once you do that, you go back in with the prime and seal in black to kind of seal those fibers on. And you can already see it's making a huge difference in my lashes, which I uh, am so 
so happy about. And then I'm going to take my Benefit Cosmetics uh, Mascara, Bad Girl Bang Mascara. And of course it's black. And I put that over top. And that is my three step, got a little mishap. That's my three step, no lash makeup look. So I love it. I think it's perfect because I'm just, you know, I don't have time for that, um, trying to put those strip lashes on. That some days they work, some days they don't. And I just get super frustrated. So until I can make it back to get some lash extensions, this is gonna be my look. <laughs> so yeah. Now I'm going back in to my Dream Street palette. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of shimmer in the corners of my eyes. And I'm using the color um, Sweet Dreams. Is what I'm using. I think it's Sweet Dreams or Magical, one of them. If you have the palette, it's the shimmer color in there. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of Bad Girl Bang on my bottom uh, lashes to kind of give them a little bit of. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and yeah, so I hope that you guys are liking this type of content. If you want more of it, please leave me a comment. I will be happy to do it. So now I'm going on to my lips, and first I'm going to line my lips in the Palladio lip liner. I got this from Sally's, and over top of that I'm going to go in with my another OG favorite from MAC in the color Chestnut. I got to find out what color that Palladio lip liner is. I'll put it in the description box um, if I can't remember, if I, if I remember to do that. I'm going to remember to do it. I'll put it in the description box. So I'm going to go in with that. And, um, then I'm going to take um, old lipstick. I don't even know if they still sell this, but this is um, actually BH Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the color Muse. If you remember a couple of years ago, they were one of the first to come out with all these different shades of affordable liquid lipsticks. And that was so great for me. I'm finishing it all off with my All Nighter Spray by Urban Decay. And uh, I think I am done. I'm gonna take this wrap off my head and take that scrunchie off because girl, these things are heavy. But yeah, that is the look. I hope you guys enjoy. And let me know if you follow along and try it. Here's the makeup look and some better lighting. I think it turned out great. Didn't take me long at all. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you had a wonderful day. Tune in tomorrow for more Vlogmas 2020.